Frank Saravalli is ready to go. Uh, Frank, the window opened now five minutes ago. Take us through. Let's, uh, let's open up the fire hydrant here. What kind of news you got? Yeah, uh, lots happening, as you might expect. Uh, number one, the Toronto Maple Leafs have their guy to play with Matt Murray. Sources indicate that the Leafs have agreed to a one-year deal, $1.8 million for goaltender Ilya Samsonov, formerly of the Washington Capitals. Uh, really nice fit there when you add up Murray and you add in Samsonov, about $6.5 million total in net for the Leafs next season. Samsonov, we've talked about this with, uh, with Mike McKenna, at just 25 years of age, has the pedigree as a former first-round pick uh, that could continue to grow and prosper at the NHL level. So a nice fit there for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, let's quickly hit on the Ilya Samsonov deal as well. It's going to be Samsonov and Murray between the pipes for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So, you know, a fairly cost-effective duo. But what do you think of this uh, this move from Dubis to kind of put the fate of the goaltending in the Leafs in the hands of these two? Well, upon hearing the news of Samsonov, I kind of did, okay, yes, that makes sense. Because the Matt Murray trade in a vacuum, it didn't fit for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Why are you going to walk away from Jack Campbell? Just pay a tiny bit less money to Matt Murray, who has so many red flags. Of course, we know there's been health problems with the concussions, confidence issues. How can a team that has Stanley Cup aspirations or win one round aspirations want to rely on Matt Murray as their starter? There's so much risk there. Now it makes sense. You're bringing Samsonov. You're betting on a revival very similar to Jack Campbell's. When the Leafs brought in Jack Campbell, he was someone with first-round pedigree, an elite prospect who hadn't found his way. That's exactly what Ilya Samsonov is. He's part of that 2015 draft class. Scouts loved him. They hyped him, along with Carter Hart at the time, as being one of the best goaltender future prospects of maybe a generation. He's big. He's athletic. He's sort of an Andre Vasilevsky type in his profile. Mike McKenna, of course, can elaborate on that. But there's so much potential there. He was promising as a rookie in 2019-20. He landed in COVID protocol to start the following season. Couldn't get in a rhythm. And what happens has two poor seasons. The Washington Capitals decide not to qualify him. He goes UFA. But a number I put out on Twitter, 75% almost, three quarters of the goalies who've played in the NHL this year are younger, or older rather, than Ilya Samsonov. He's still one of the youngest goalies in the league. There's so much potential there. First round pedigree, you pair him with the veteran Matt Murray. And suddenly that tandem in Toronto has some upside for Curtis Sanford, the new goaltending coach, to work with. 